someone randomly on Twitter mentioned an old rumor about LeBron James cheating on Savannah back in 2014. Supposedly the young lady that LeBron cheated on Savannah with, her name is Jews. LeBron was hanging out with her a lot back in 2014 when he was playing with Miami and people just assumed that he was smashing her. Now this just started out as a rumor because people were seeing pictures of him hanging out with her but then rapper Pusha T around that same time came out with a song called Popular Demand Popeyes and in the song he said used to have this white chick she looked like Madonna though heard that she effing LeBron but shit I don't know like that Bron Bron I had that a long time ago. Now after he dropped that song a lot of people were calling him a snitch but people were also wondering is the rumor true? true was LeBron really cheating on Savannah now yes Jews the girl who's being accused of cheating with LeBron she finally spoke out at the nine years of being dragged and now the second thing that always gets brought up literally every single day and I'm so over it so I would like to address it now is the LeBron James comments ladies and gentlemen let me tell you guys something I know this is gonna come as a complete shocker to you but are you ready are you ready for this here's a fact I have never in my entire life been alone with LeBron James, period. There is nothing that ever went on there. Clearly, we were friends. I was working in Miami. I was one of the most popping party promoters and throwers in Miami. The heat was winning. People were going out to celebrate. I was the go-to person for, hey, where do we go? Where's the party at? Where are we having a good time, etc. I started working with them through Maverick Carter. Shout out to Mav. And so I was around and they supported me. And obviously, like, do you think that somebody that's married would tweet and take pictures with and be around and bring somebody that they're, you know, like doing something with around their family and wife? Like, no. I mean, unless they're really f***ed up. I'm sure that's happened before. But no, like common sense. Why would why would that happen if if it just doesn't even make sense? It wasn't LeBron. Did I have relations with somebody or he's friends with or knows did i end up going on dates and trying my hand with someone that was around him at the time yeah i did we were friends we tried dating for a little bit had a great time ended up not taking it further than that and then remained friends sorry not with lebron i have the utmost respect for savannah love her think she's amazing think they have a beautiful family and i'm really fucking tired of this stain being put on my name the blogs all these people like joe button all these people just insist that that's how i got to where i was today it's nothing to do with my work ethic nothing to do with the ability that i have to execute better than most of these men out here in my field nothing to do with the fact that i'm extremely creative and can connect the dots and can get more shit done than most people that i know in 24 hours Nothing to do with that. It's just that I have a f ass. How like, Lord knows how many opportunities and checks I've probably missed out on simply because dense, gossiping, hating humans want to make up these narratives about me that make it seem like I'm a woman that's sleeping with a married man whose wife that I know. 